Hey guys, this is Mayank from MTS Space and today uh, we are going to experiment something. So you must have seen all the recipes posted by Tanya until now but today uh, I'm going to try something new. Uh, if I tell you, uh, you will say what? This is not new. So basically we are going to make pizza today. Uh, but this is not like a normal pizza. We are, we are trying something new. We are trying to experiment something. We are trying to make a balloon, a dome on top of a pizza. So we are going to use two base uh, for the pizza. Um, so for that, <clears throat> uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, if, it, if it's a successful recipe, then you guys go ahead and enjoy it. So let's get to the cooking and ingredients. Um, here I have some fresh mozzarella. I have some onions. I have some pepper. Uh, and I have some mushrooms. Uh, this is uh, something I have here, some coleslaw and tomatoes. I'm gonna do something for the salad. And I, as I said, for today, I'm gonna get uh, use the Publix pizza base. Uh, typically, we always go and make our own pizza dough. And for that, uh, look at our another recipe we'll post really soon about pizza dough. Uh, but today, I'm gonna go, go and use this one because we really decided at the last minute how we are gonna uh, what we are gonna do. Um, today is our cheat meal day and this is what we want to try today. Um, so I'm gonna use these two bases uh, and I'll show you what I'm gonna attempt. So let's start. Okay, so here I have my pizza plate. Um, I don't have the clear one plate, so we use this one and I have dusted it with a little bit of all-purpose flour, um, which is very atypical. Next thing you want to do is take your bread and like just give it a little bit of shake so that there is no air and it gets a little bit bigger. So you would see how this is getting bigger and this is now of the size of my plate here. <coughs> Okay, so we have this one here set. Um, next thing we are gonna do is uh, we are gonna uh, put some sauce and our veggies on this as you would do on, on a normal pizza. Now keep in mind that when you are doing a sauce, I know you don't want your extra crust to be without, uh, don't want any part of your crust to be without sauce, but in this case we do want it and you will know very soon why. So I, I'm gonna leave some part at the edges intentionally without the sauce here. Now, this is, I like to combine a normal pizza sauce with a, a little bit of tomato ketchup because it really gives a different kind of punch. Okay, that's it, just a little bit, not too much. You don't wanna lose all the flavor of a good tomato sauce, your pizza sauce. So that's it, uh, we have our sauce ready, we have our crust ready. Next thing we are gonna do is really quickly put, put some veggies on it. I'm gonna put some slices of mozzarella. I would highly recommend you guys using like a fresh mozzarella in this case because it it really makes the huge difference of how this is gonna turn out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some water and brush the corners of the pizza. So now I'm 
so now you know this is the reason why we don't want the edges to be all in sauce because we want to brush the corners of our pizza's layer because I'm gonna put another layer on top of this to cover this I think this should be good enough I have placed four straws here and I have this second layer here which I'm gonna start putting on top of my pizza and this second layer should be able to cover my straws here and so here I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the crust in inside. So I'm using fork to actually seal the crust and give it a little bit nicer look from outside. So you can see how my folded in crust looks like. So I'm gonna blow from the straws I put over here to give this an inflation, okay? Remember you just have to give just enough inflation so that your crust does not start breaking and then you seal it really nicely from here, okay? So I'm sealing from here really nicely, your crust. And this is gonna be our pizza today. So now I'm gonna throw that pizza at around 400 degree Fahrenheit into the oven for approximately 18 minutes. I'm gonna keep a watch on it and let's see how this turns out of after 18 minutes. The upper crust should be nice and golden brown and that will tell us that everything else um, should be ready. So I am ready for the oven and I'm gonna put this inside the oven which is preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I definitely don't wanna do anything to the crust. So this goes in. Okay, so moment of truth. Now, uh, let me first tell you guys that instead of 18 minutes, I let it cook for a little bit over three minutes. So it's like around 21 minutes and a nice browning has been done over my crust. As you can see, a hot way. So you will see that there is a nice browning of the crust has been done over here. Okay guys, so here, as I showed you earlier, I have some tomatoes and you can have some onions. I have some coleslaw here. I'm gonna put a little bit of vinaigrette in it. Uh, so this is uh, our dressing, this is from Panera Bread, um, this is Mediterranean lemon dressing and I'm gonna just mix it. You will know why I'm doing this very very soon, just give it a nice, give it a nice mix, let it sit for like 30 seconds so that it infuses flavor. Now you can use any any salad of your choice. You can use any green leaves. Uh, I chose this. I would have even chosen pasta or something, pasta salad. But right, that is it. So we are done here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna puncture the crust and I'm gonna cut it open. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully take that crust. Okay, so you can see it 
um, this was our first attempt it seems it liquidated a little bit but that's because of the sauce uh, which is okay uh, it's kind of a bowl style pizza and this is how you can serve it like this is how I'm gonna serve it I'm gonna serve my dressing into this bowl instead of using a normal bowl and that is why so you don't have to really waste this crust um, what I'm gonna do you can you have multiple options after you do this you can actually have you can have some crumbled cheese into your salad as well or of your liking and there you go that's it guys um, we are gonna taste it uh, please try it's super simple it looks like oh my god what did we do this how did we do this but but to be honest it was much simpler than we really imagined uh, the inflation the sun took a lot of glow or anything it was super simple do try this leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button